Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana and welcome to another styling video. Today we are doing the mantle styling. I think I've gotten four different ways to style your mantle for early spring or really just all year. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the four different looks that I've come up with. Again, they're not just early spring. They can be used all year or you know through the spring, summer, until you're ready to pull out fall and winter decorations. Decorations. So I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope it gives you a little bit of mantle styling decorating ideas and also, if you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy these type of videos, we have lots of spring decorating coming up. And yeah, follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. So without further ado, let's get decorating the mantle. And I can show you a few different ways that I would style my mantle for early spring or all year. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick look at what the fireplace and the mantle look like. So for today's video, we are only decorating the mantle. You can see how I'm going to decorate the hearth in my early spring decorating video in the family room. So we're gonna start with look number one. I am taking this mirror that I got from Target and just centering that on the mantle for now. This look is very simple. I am taking these two vases I got from a local boutique to me and just adding these very small blue floral stems. I love the little pop of blue. I did also want to mention that for this video, I bought very little. Um, I, I don't think I bought anything at all specifically for this video. I am just pulling items that I have from around my home and just using them. So I hope that encourages you to just look around your own house, shop your home, and try to come up with different looks. So on the other side, I'm just adding these wooden candle holders, these chunky wooden candle holders that I think I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And I'm just adding these small little greenery candle rings. These are two of my favorites that I got from Amazon. I will try to link them down below. And then I'm just adding some shorter pillar candles in a cream color. And that is it for this first look. It's super simple. And I just really like it that way. I generally tend to decorate very simply. And that's exactly what this look is. So moving on to look number two, I am keeping that same mirror from Target up there and I am layering this beautiful landscape print that I did also get from Target. Now a lot of people would say that this picture is too big in front of the mirror, but again, I don't follow decorating rules. I don't really think decorating rules should be a thing. I think that you should do what you love and I personally think it looks beautiful up here. So this jug vase I got from Pottery Barn a couple years ago. And then these floral stems, honestly, they were down. I keep all my florals in a bin down in the basement. They were in there probably, most likely they came from Hobby Lobby or Michael's. That's usually where I get most of my florals. And I'm just layering those in there. I absolutely love the tiny little white flowers. Now I am taking two of my vintage books that I recently hauled and just kind of putting one upright and one leaning against it. I love the kind of organic look that that gives. And then I'm taking another vintage book on the other side and adding this small cream colored vase that I got from Target. And then taking these little baby's breath stems that are from Hobby Lobby and just putting those in there.
And this is the way look number two came out. I love the way that this one came out. I love the layer look of the picture in front of the mirror. And then I love incorporating vintage items in with new items. So I love that the um, kind of lived in look that the vintage books add to this mantle styling. Okay, so look number three, I am again using that same mirror, but this time I'm shifting it over to the left to off-center it a little bit. And in front of it, I am layering this other, other very similar shaped mirror that I did get from Target. However, it is a little smaller. Now I am taking this vintage crock that I got from a local antique store and adding this beautiful greenery that I got from Target. So I didn't like the way they were kind of spreading out. So a little trick that I like to do is just take a rubber band or some way to secure the stems together. And then I just added a few smaller ones in front of it to give it a little bit fuller look. But then it kind of keeps the stems a little bit more upright rather than falling too far over to the sides. So now I am taking a couple more antique books and this time I'm leaving the bindings in and leaning those up against the vintage crock. Now those were just a little bit bigger than I wanted so I grabbed two more smaller antique books and just leaned those inside. I like the looks of these with just the bindings turned to the inside. It looks just a little less busy. So then on the other side I'm laying another one of those antique books flat. And to that, I am adding again this small little cream colored vase, but this time I am adding these little daisy stems that I did get from Michael's. And then I am also adding three gold candlesticks that I got from Amazon. So this is the way that look number three came out. I do think that this is probably my absolute favorite. I This is the first time I've ever tried the layered mirror look. I love how one has like a gold finish and the other one has kind of a wood looking finish. So it brings in two different elements in there. I love just, I don't know, I like again the antique items mixed in with the new items. This one just feels kind of lived in and cozy to me. Okay, so this is the last look number four, and this time I am layering a large piece of art. I want that to be the main focus of the mantle. This is a beautiful piece of art that I got from Target this year. It is, I think, 36 by 36, so it is quite large, and I want that, like I said, to be the main focus. So next to that, I added this beautiful Pier 1 vase that I got a years ago, and I'm adding two of these large stems. So I like getting large statement stems, then I don't need that many. These are actually from Pottery Barn a couple years ago. However, Hobby Lobby has a much larger and more affordable selection of large statement stems. And then just again, layering two of those antique books over here. And then I am just adding three candlesticks to this, the three of the gold candlesticks from Amazon. 
And then I'm going to add in there my battery operated candlestick lights that I also got from Amazon. And that is it. I just kept this super simple. Like I said, I really wanted the artwork on this to be the main statement. And I absolutely love the way that this one came out as well. Okay, so this is going to wrap up today's early spring styling mantle ideas. I hope that you guys got a little bit of inspiration for this from this video. You can also mix and match if you like certain parts of the mantle that I styled in one look and then other parts from another. You can create your own unique look. And again, just shop your home. I'm sure you have so many items that you can use. So again, I don't follow styling rules. I just do what I love. These are four looks that I would style on my mantle for actually spring or summer. So I hope that you got a little bit of inspiration from this. And I would love for you to tell me in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.